All right, I have a small solar panel. This is a 25 watt solar panel. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's right there, but somewhere. Very small, I've had it for several years. It's brand new, I've never used it. I bought it for another project and then I didn't do anything with that project. So I just held it back. Uh, I've got a MPPT solar charge controller. It's got two USB ports on it so you can charge your phone. This is a uh, 30 amp, I believe. Yeah. And I have <clears throat> an, an old inverter. It's 300 watts. It'll peak to 600 watts. And it just has the cigarette lighter plug. Two outlets for 110 on and off switch. A little fan. So what I'm going to do is here, here at the shed, I just want to um, get started. All right. So what I'm going to do here at the shed, it's going to be off grid. I just want to charge my uh, power tools, and they're all 20 volt. These are not commercial cordless um, equipment, so just um, fairly low cost, I've got that, each one of them has a 20 volt battery, and I'm going to have the solar um, array at some point where this will be large enough um, that, the, that I will actually use it for a backup for my house, and so I will have um, a lot of storage batteries or maybe not a lot, but big storage batteries so that I can run a refrigerator, a freezer, um, a few other things, some essentials for hopefully for several days, maybe even longer than that, in case we have a grid down situation from hurricanes, uh, ice storms, um, somebody doing something stupid somewhere and hacking into something and just, you know, killing power, you know, squirrels. That's knocked out our power a few times. So anyway, um, that's what it's eventually going to be. But I have this stuff. The only thing I did not have was this. And this is just what I'm going to clip to the batteries. And the batteries also have two. But I got this off of Amazon. And it has a little inline. Um, can't get it off of there. A little inline fuse. And then the, also, this is just a cigarette plug. So this is what I'm planning on doing, just plugging it into this. And this will give me a very small, I mean tiny, but I'm just, just to kind of prove proof of concept to see if this is going to work and to play around with it. Get a little bit of power out here to charge some little stuff. But it, it's just proof of concept to uh, get me started. And I'll, um, I'm probably will end up moving the panel somewhere else. Probably I'll, I'll, I've got a place picked out for it, but I don't really know how well it will perform there. So I'm going to, uh, get it, get it up there and just put the system together and just see what I get. All right. So the way I'm going to mount this should work. <laughs> I'll find out if it's going to work. <clears throat> so I've got two boards that are cut the same length. It shouldn't go anywhere. Then when I get ready to actually mount it, then I can just scrape this stuff off.
had a lot of this blue wire and it's the right size but it, I, I didn't have the it's not the right color so it's just all blue so I've cut me off a red end I'll put attach that and I'll attach a red end to the other end of this and then the same thing with the other wire I'll attach a black piece so that I'll know which one's positive which one's negative and I can get the right length This is to the battery. And I put a quick connector on it so I can take this stuff apart. to the instructions you're supposed to hook up the battery first and the display is supposed to light up and then hook up the solar panel so let's see if that's correct mm hmm okay well it lit up Showing my battery's fully charged at 12.5 volts. And there's the PV, which is the solar panel. And when it scrolls back to it, there, there's nothing because it's not hooked up. Maybe I should have done this before I mounted it. Now you live and learn, right? You should learn something new every day. I think it got a grip on it that time. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so this quick connect is for my battery. I think I've said that before. Don't have a quick connect for the panel. Not that much coming in on it. It's only 25 watts. So the battery temp is 36 Celsius. Which in I'd have to look that up. This piece is for cigarette light. <clears throat> Alright, these are color coded. Black to black. Which is your negative? Red to red. It's your positive. And then I had a 
and I have alligator clips for my battery. Put some of my battery, and there is the power socket. Put that these in. It's gonna blow anything up. So far, so good. And the alligator clips to the battery has an inline fuse. So in case I do do something that I shouldn't, it should pop and take care of it. And there's the end of it, the business end. On, off. Mm -hmm. It lit up and it has two outlets. Right there. These batteries that I have are 12 volt batteries, but they are not intended for what I'm using them for. They will work, but I'm this again. This is just a proof of concept using stuff that I had because I had the inverter from years ago. I have these two small 12 volt batteries, and they're small, I mean, they're tiny, and they're just regular <clears throat> sealed lead acid batteries. Charge controller is new. I got that off of Amazon. It's the cheapest one I could find that was an MPPT. And it was 30 amps, and I believe it was 26 bucks. And then the alligator clips socket. I didn't have that, and that was eight bucks. But I had the panel, I had the batteries. So it was just a matter of getting in here to see if it actually works. Here's what else I can do to find out if it actually works. For the USB, it's supposed to put out five volts. All right, this is just a battery bank, a little pocket, a little thin one. <laughs> it's actually an impulse buy at Walmart. It was five bucks. Now, it's been a while, but it still works really good. All right, here's where you're, here's where it tells if it's got any power. It's got, right now it's got half of its power. So I'll plug it in, and it should start to flash if it's going to put any power in there. Yep, look at that starting to blink 